Hi gang, so this is a bit of a weird video. I'm halfway through making a big long video about balance in 40k and one of the questions that came up was, well, how big is 40k? Like how many things are there currently in match play that a design team would have to balance against each other to make sure the game is balanced? How many units and additional rules and options that you can select from to build your army? So the simple way to find this out, you'd think, is to open a codex and start counting, but what with the spread of the rules and certain parts of certain books being superseded by others, that's already a pretty big task. And then it turns out, when you think about this for more than a second, you need to start putting in some parameters on how we're going to measure this, like what counts as a thing you need to balance against other things? Well, if we're thinking of this from the point of view of balance, we might say that anything you can choose in your army that might affect the power of that army is a thing that needs to be balanced. So obviously units are things, and then stratagems are things, and relics and warlord traits or spells. Those are all things we need to balance. Any rule that you can pick that changes something and that isn't exactly the same for both players, those are all things a game needs to take into account for balance. Army-wide abilities, those can be a thing, but I'm going to ignore army building rules because I don't know, they feel different and they're not really something that affects the gameplay as much. So let's set that up as a rule. Any individual building block of a list is a thing, but the rules about how you build the list aren't. It's not perfect, but it's a good starting point. Right, so in order to count all these things, I'm going to trust to one of the internet's very best random unofficial rules compilations because it organizes rules by faction and then on the faction homepage lists all the abilities, warlord traits and stratagems and whatnot available from all publications, which is really handy for me, as well as listing all the units with little icons that tell you where they come from and if they're in Legends or not. And that's important because I'm going to be concentrating on match play only here. No Crusade rules or Legends units included. After all, that's the one that's supposed to be balanced, right? Okay, here's my spreadsheet. I've got columns for units, stratagems, relics, warlord traits, spells, not spells, that's anything that functions a bit like a spell but isn't one, like chaplain rites or even Astra Militarum orders. Secondary objectives for the newer codices, character upgrades like sagas or chapter masters or like exarch abilities, doctrines like Cadian or Ultramarine. I've counted all the build your own rules as individual doctrines, but I haven't done every possible combination because that would get silly. And then there's a general column for army abilities. That's anything that doesn't fit in another column or general abilities that work for everything. Um, I've tried to count things like and they shall know no fear only once, uh, but when a rule actually gives you a number of different options, like say power from pain, I've counted every different option because each one of them needs to be taken into account for balance. Right, let's just do one quickly just to see where we get. Okay, so we're going to Tyranids. Tyranids, let's go down here. So as we know, we've got all our FAQ, we don't need any of that. Keywords, High Fleet, that's just a keyword. Abilities, Extinct in Behaviour, uh, Shadow in the Warp, and Synapse. Brilliant, so I'm going to count that as three army abilities for them. And then Detachment Rules, we don't usually use Detachment Rules, so I'll skip over then. High Fleet Adaptations, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven high fleet adaptations. And then we've got these ones, the custom ones. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, so that's 17 doctrines, basically. We've got, here we go, stratagems one, two, three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight stratagems, then some extras. 30, 32, 33, 44, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 44 stratagems there. Brilliant. Okay, so 44 stratagems. Uh, there we are. Um, 44 stratagems, then we're going to go for spells. Great, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six spells here, and then another one, two, uh, another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spells. So that's so that's 13 spells, and then warlord traits got six. Then the seven standard ones there, so there's another 13 warlord traits. So keep going down. Right, adaptive physiology. Uh, this is a character upgrade. I'm going to call it. So that's one stratagem. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things. So that goes up to 45 stratagems. And then we need to go to character upgrades and we'll go to nine character upgrades. Right, keep going. Hive mind synaptic link abilities. 
Um, looks like these are another set of basically, I, I guess, character upgrades. They're kind of just big guy upgrades. Uh, that's what I'm going to count them as. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. Right, so I want to make that 18 there. It might need to go in a different column, but it doesn't really matter. We're just counting things. Codex Supplement Leviathan, add some more. So we've got three more Warlord traits. That's 16. Uh, we have four more relics. We haven't got any yet, so that's four there. And we've got, uh, usually it's eight stratagems. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stratagems. We've got 55 stratagems. Great. Uh, crusade relics. We're going to skip all the crusade section because the opening of that, we go out down to these bits. Bio artifacts of the Tyranids. So that's relics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, including the ones from Warzone Octorious. So that's. 21 in total when we add the ones that were there before. The only thing left to do is to count up units. Here is the units list. So here we go. We've got two, four, six, eight, because that is a valid Forge World unit. 10, 12, 13, ignore Termagants because they're legends. 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. Yep, just checking, that is still valid. 49, so that's 49 data sheets. Okay, so adding that all into our spreadsheet gives us 192 things in the Tyranid list. 192 things to take into account when trying to balance just the Tyranid faction. And that's kind of low average for an army, as you can see when we count all of the rest. Right, yeah, so I did all the counting for all the factions. Here's a complete spreadsheet. Right, as you can see, Tyranids are on the lower end of factions in whole. They're, they're one of the highest ones in the other section, but they're a lot smaller than some of the, um, yeah, I guess some of the bigger factions. Even some of the bigger Xenos factions like Craft Worlds or Orcs. All of these, of course, are dwarf by Space Marines, who across their various flavors have 989 things to balance. This is partly because there are just loads of units, and partly because each of the different named chapters get their own spread of psychic powers and warlord traits, stratagems, and relics. Space Marines account for about one in five things in the entire game, and Imperium for just under half the things in the game. The total down here is 4,653. That's 4,653. 53 things to take into account when you're trying to balance 40k as of November 2021. Is that a lot? Well, for comparison, Magic the Gathering limits its competitive formats to the most recent sets. That's around 2200 Magic cards that you could use right now with old sets rotating out as new ones are released. 2,200 things to balance compared to 40k. And of course, chess, an actual game of skill, has six different units and one variable who goes first. So yeah, that, that's a lot. Now, a caveat here, this isn't perfect. I'm very aware it's not perfect. You just saw how I was counting them. It's based on my manual counting of hundreds of units, trying to avoid counting the legends ones, then trying to remember not to count the same things twice. Also, some rules might be named differently, but have broadly the same effect. Like there are a few rules that give people minus one to hit, for example. But even if I'm 100 out, hell, even if I'm 500 out, that's a lot of things to balance. And I'm sure you've all noticed the amble in the room. I haven't accounted in any of this for unit loadouts. Loads of units can be taken with different equipment, which radically changes what it's possible for that unit to do. Even an intercessor squad, arguably the most boring unit in 40k, can have three different basic guns, a special weapon option, and six different sergeant weapons. That's 36 possible loadouts, and that's actually quite quite low for a line infantry unit in 40k. Now look, not every unit can do this, some have fixed weapon options, and not all those different loadouts will have much effect on the game. But even if we assume that say half the units in any codex have multiple equipment options and that they have say three viable options each, that gives us this many possible things to balance. And I think half the units in the game having only three possible builds is pretty conservative. We could easily say 10 is the average. I'm not going to count all those up manually, but if you want to talk to yourself, I'll put the spreadsheet in the comments as a starting point. 
We also haven't accounted for the fact that each individual unit in 40k has lots and lots of different stats which create even more variation. Loads more than, say, on a magic card. But anyway, there we go. Good starting point. I'm glad I did this. Match Play 40k has anywhere upwards of about 4,500 different things to balance, or to be aware of, or to plan around. That's about twice as many as Magic the Gathering, which is a much more tight rule set, famous for being way more balanced than Warhammer. Which, after this video, should come as no surprise. Thanks for watching. If you really enjoy Math Hammer or statistical analysis of popular games, yeah, d just don't click anywhere else here. I don't do it very often. But if you'd like to see stupid videos about old Hammer and my toy soldiers, then like and subscribe or support the Patreon. See ya.